Hi there, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the brand new TXNR676, which is the first of our mid-range AV receivers. The 676 has both wireless and hardwired features to enable you to access the internet. It's also the first in the range which actually comes with a front HDMI port, allowing you to connect up your mobile devices or if one of your friends brings along a games console, you can just plug it straight in the front. There's also an auxiliary analog audio in and the all important auto mic setup. The TXNR676 also actually comes with a powered zone too, so you can enjoy music in a second zone at a separate volume with a different source. In keeping with the same design philosophy, the direct input buttons run through the middle of the AVR, making sure that the design is very, very neat and very tidy and stylish. There's even a direct access button for the network features and the Bluetooth feature, which will allow you to connect a Bluetooth enabled mobile device directly to the AVR. Not only does the 676 support Dolby Atmos DTSX, but it's also Dolby Vision compatible. Let's turn our focus back to the Wi-Fi capabilities of the TXNR676 and see what we've got. Because of the networking capabilities of the AVR, we've got a whole host of networking streaming facilities available to you. For example, Chromecast built-in, DTS PlayFi, Fire Connect, Tidal and many more. Moving our focus to the back of the 676, let's take a look and see what we've got. So there's six HDMI inputs on the back, all are assignable to any of the label buttons on the front, except the networking and the Bluetooth. Also, all of the HDMI inputs adhere to the HDCP 2.2 protocols, and they will also accept up to 4K video signals. There's also support for Dolby Vision and High Dynamic Range, which is commonly known as HDR. Now there's two HDMI outputs. The main out supports audio return channel, and in the menu settings you can actually select the option for Dolby Vision to actually be on the main output or the sub output. There's three assignal digital inputs on the back, along with an AM FM tuner, and we've also given you a host of legacy analog inputs, two component, two a composite, and six analog. And there's even a separate phono input for your turntable. Now the 676 is rated at 165 watts per channel across seven channels. And in the information bar, I've put a couple of configurations. So for example, a 5.1 system, and you can use the powered zone two. Or alternatively, if you're running an Atmos system, you would run it in 5.1.2 mode and use the pre-outs for your second zone. But then if you want to run more than two zones, I would recommend connecting up some NCP302s and use the Fire Connect technology. Well, I hope you've enjoyed taking this first look at the TXNR676. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye bye.